Anil was asleep. A beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bed. I sat up on the floor considering the situation. If I took the money, I could catch the 10.30 express to Lucknow. Slipping out of his, the blanket, I crept up to the bed. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. Even I had more marks on my face, though mine were mostly scars. So Anil, he was asleep. And a beam of moonlight, it stepped over the balcony and it fell on the bed where Anil was asleep. Hari Singh, he sat up on the floor just to take the opportunity that he, that how he will actually steal those money. And then he was thinking that if he take the money, he, ca he could catch the 1030 Express to Lucknow. He just uh, come out of the blanket and he crept up to the bed. Anil, he was sleeping very peacefully. He can see that his face was clear and unlined. There was no marks on his face. Even I had more marks on my face. So he just, as he just came outside and crept up to the bed where Anil was sleeping, he found his face to be clear and unlined. And he tells that his face will have more marks than Anil. But it was actually not the mark, it was the scars. My hand slid under the mattress, searching for the notes. When I found them, I drew them out without a sound. Anil shied in his sleep and turned on his side towards me. I was startled and quickly crawled out of the room. So Hari Singh, he got the opportunity. So he just came outside the mattress, uh, outside, outside the blanket. As Anil was sleeping peacefully, Hari Singh's hand slid under the mattress. He just put his hand under the mattress, searching for the notes, as he knew that the notes were there on under the mattress. When he found them, he just drew them out without a single sound. Anil, he just take a breath in his sleep and he turned on his side towards Hari Singh, where he, Hari Singh was. And Hari Singh was so frightened that he just took out the money and he just ran outside the room. When I was on the road, I began to run. I had the notes at my waist, held there by the string of my pajamas. pajamas. I slowed down to a walk and counted the notes, 600 rupees in 50s. I could live like an oil-rich Arab for a week or two. So, as he just came out of the room, holding the money, holding the notes on his hand, when he was on the road, he began to run. He was very much afraid. He began to run. He had the notes on at, the, at his waist, held there very tightly by the string of his pajamas. He hold the notes. I slowed down to work. He just slowed down. And just started walking and he was counting the notes. It was it was 600 rupees in 50s. All the notes were in 50s and he had 600 rupees with, with him. Now he thought that now he can, he could actually live like an oil rich Arab for a week or two. That means this 600 rupees, now he will be very, he will enjoy it like a oil rich Arab for, for a week or two. For one week or for two weeks, he can live a very peaceful life. With this 600 rupees. He was very happy. That for the purpose he has actually. Uh, make, made friend with Anil. It was successful one. He was very much happy. That he had got the opportunity. He stole the, he stole the money. And then he ran away. And no one even recognized. No one even noticed him. That he has stolen the money. When I reached the station. I did not stop at the ticket office. I had never bought a ticket in my life, but dashed straight to the platform. The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train had still to pick up speed 
and I should have been able to jump into one of the carriages. But I hesitated. For some reason, I can't explain. And I lost chance to get away. So, Hari Singh, he reached the station. He did not stop to stop at the ticket office to buy the ticket. I had never bought a ticket in my life, you see. Uh, he has, he used to, uh, uh, he used, uh, he never used to buy tickets, uh, ticket. Uh, so he never, he had never bought a ticket in his life. So he reached the station. He did not stop at the ticket office as it would just waste his time. He, he just, uh, he straightly, uh, went to the platform. The Lucknow Express, it was just moving out. The train had still to pick up speed. The train was moving very slowly. It, it had still to pick up the speed. And Hari Singh, he should have, uh, he could have jumped into one of the carriages. But suddenly, what happened? Suddenly something, uh, suddenly something came in his mind that he hesitated to get into the train. And he could not even explain why he could not actually get inside the train. And he lost the chance to get away from there. When the train had gone, I found myself standing alone on the deserted platform. I had no idea where to spend the night. I had no friends, believing that friends were more trouble than help. And I did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station. The only person I knew really well was the man I had robbed. Leaving the station, I walked, I walked slowly through the bazaar. Something occurred in his mind, something came in his mind that uh, he could not go away, he could not get inside the train. He had every chance to get in, jump into the one of the carriages in the train. But he did not did it. He did not do it. Uh, and he could not even explain why he has not actually uh, took that opportunity. When the train had gone, he found himself standing alone on that platform, on that deserted platform. He had no idea that where he will spend the night as he had no friends. And he believed that friends were more trouble than help. He, and, and that is why he does not even make friends. And he did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the and he did not even want to um uh just uh, want to stay in any hotels as people might uh might uh people will uh, ask many um question like staying at a hotel means you need to have an identity and all so he do not want to give his identity to anyone so he do not want to he avoid staying in the hotels near the station as there were there were many uh, hotels but he avoid s staying at the hotels now he just realized that the only person he knew in that area was the person whom he had just robbed leaving the station he just walked through the bazaar thinking on uh, now what he will do where he will go as he does not have he d does not ha have any friends uh, and also he cannot uh, even stay in the hotel. <clears throat> he did not know what to do. He just walked away to the bazaar. In my short career as a thief, I had made a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods. The greedy man showed fear. The rich man showed anger. The poor man showed acceptance. But I knew that Anil's face, when he discovered the theft, would show only a touch of sadness, not for the loss of money, but for the loss of trust. So now, in his short career as a thief, he had met many. He has he had studied many faces. Many men studied uh, man's faces when they actually lost their goods, lost their property, or whatever. So he uh, he he believed he according to Hari Singh, the greedy man, when they lost their goods, they showed fear. And the rich man, they showed anger. The poor man, they showed acceptance. But he knew what Anil face will, uh, he knew what Anil face will show because he knew Anil face will not so fear or anger or acceptance when he will discover that he had been robbed by the person whom he had trusted a lot. 
so he would show only a touch of sadness he know that anil will anil face will show a touch of sadness and not because he had lost his money but because he has lost the trust on hari singh as he trusted him a lot but the trust the trust uh, hari singh could not keep the trust of anil so that's why he knew that anil will not be anil will be unhappy not because he had lost the money but because he has lost the tr- trust so i found myself in the maidan and sat down on the bench the night was chilly it was early morning and a light drizzle added to my discomfort soon it was raining quite heavily my shirt and paj- pajamas stuck to my skin and a cold wind blew the rain across my face so thinking those thing he just found himself in the maidan in the open ground and he just sat down on a bench and the night was very cool it was a very cool night it was early november and some drizzle light drizzle started falling and he was little bit discomfort because of that light drizzle of rainfall but soon it started raining heavily hari singh's shirt and pajamas it just it he he was totally wet because of this heavy rainfall and a cold wind blew the rain across his face so he was thinking about anil that he has actually lost that trust of anil but now he could not do anything what he will do he was thinking about those thing how he will manage to um, how he where he will stay as he has every opportunity to run away from there but something has stuck in his mind and because of that reason he could not even explain it because of that reason he could not just run away from there i went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock tower the clock showed midnight i felt for the notes they were damp for from the rain so he just uh, he went back to the bazaar and then he he uh, searching for a shelter and he found a clock tower where he sat down and that in the shelter the clock it was midnight he fell and then he just oh, he just fe- fell for the notes if they are okay or not if they are with him or not and he found that it was all damp from that it was all wet damp it means wet it was all wet because of the water rain rainfall anil's money in the morning he would probably have given me 2 or 3 rupees to go to the cinema but now i had it all i could not cook his meals run to the bazaar or learn to write whole sentences anymore so now he thought he just hold the money and he realized it was anil's money and then he also realized that in the morning if he would not have stolen the money he would have probably had given him 2 or 3 rupees to go to the cinema but now he had all the 600 rupees with him he could not cook his food now anymore he could not run to the bazaar or he could not learn or write whole sentences anymore now he as he realized that he could not do those things as anil has provided him many opportunity to learn the learn read and write to learn he has uh, he also uh, provide sometimes he also provide him some money to go to the cinema but now as he had all the money now he could not do those things he realized he just sat uh, somewhere and he just realized that whatever he has done maybe it was wrong or maybe it was right he did not he could not decide what he has actually done i had forgotten about them in the excitement of the theft whole sentences i knew could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees it was a simple matter to steal and sometimes just as simple to be caught but to be a really big man a clever and respected man was something else i should go back to anil i told myself if only to learn to read and write now um here hari singh he has realized that he has not done the right work he has not done the right thing he had actually an excitement of stealing the money and all he had forgotten everything that anil has done for him the whole sentences that anil has taught him 
and those sentences that Anil Anil has taught, as Anil has taught him how to read and write. So he has actually forgotten the those things in the excitement of stealing those six hundred rupees, and he realized that if he could. If he would be able to read and write, one day he would be a very uh, big man or a very respected man, a clever man. But now, because he has stolen the money, it was uh, according to Hari Singh. It was very easy to steal something, and also it was very easy to be caught. But, uh, but. he realized that to be really a big man a clever and respected man was actually something else it was actually greater than stealing or be or be caught red handed by someone now he thought he realized those thing he realized that he has not done the good thing he has actually broken the trust of a man of a very good person of a very simple person so he realized and he thought that he should go back to anil he just told himself not only for the money but for the for the trust and also as he will be able to read and write and he will be able to be a respected person or a clever person he realized that he has done wrong thing and he decided that he will return back to anil not only to read and write i hurried back to the room feeling very nervous for it is much easier to steal something than to return it undetected i opened the door quietly then stood in the doorway in clouded moonlight anil was still asleep i crept to the head of the bed and my hand came up with the notes i felt his breath on my hand i remained still for a minute then my hand found the edge of the mattress and slipped under it with the notes so hari singh he hurried back to the room feeling very nervous he was very nervous for it was very easy for him to steal something he he believed that it is very easy to steal something than to return back without being noticed by someone to return the same thing without being noticed would be the difficult one he just opened the door quietly he stood on the doorway it was the clouded mo- moonlight and he found that anil was still asleep he crept to the head of the bed and his hand came up with the notes he felt the breath of on his hand he felt the breath of anil on his hand he remained for some time he remained still there as it was very difficult for him to keep the same money which he has stolen from the same place it, w- it was very difficult for him then his hand he found the edge of the mattress and then he slipped the notes under the mattress and in this way he returned back he realized that he will get a, very, a great opportunity if he would spend time with anil so he just returned back he realized that he want to be a good person he doesn't want to be the thief he want to change himself and realizing those thing he returned back to anil and he returned the money from where he has actually stolen though it was difficult but at last he has changed his mind i awoke late next morning to find that anil had already made the tea he stretched out his hand towards me there was a 50 rupee note between his fingers my heart sank i thought i had been discovered the next morning uh, hari singh he woke very late and he found that anil had already made the tea for him and he stretched out his hand towards him anil anil he stretched out his hand towards hari singh he found that there was some 50 rupee note between uh, his fingers he his he was very much afraid he thought that he had been discovered uh, discovered he had been um, anil had realized about the last night he thought and he was very much afraid I made some money yesterday he explained now i you will be paid regularly and then anil he reply he said that he told he explained him that yesterday he had made some he had earned some money and now every day he will pay him he, he will pay him regularly anil he uh, told hari singh my spirit rose but when i took the note i saw it was still wet from the night's rain 
and then uh, Harrison he became very much happy. His spirit of doing good things it just rises in his mind. He thought that whatever he has actually decided, it was the correct one. And he took the note from Anil, and he found that the note was still wet because of that night rain. Today we will start writing sentences, he said. And Anil he said, okay, then today we will start. Today they will. Uh, he will teach him to write how to, uh, to write the sentences and all. He will teach many things to him. He knew. He knew, but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. I smiled at Anil in my most appealing way, and the smile came by itself without any effort. And at last, he knew. Uh, Harishin he has realized that Anil he had he had no he came to know that what had happened last night as the money were damp. He has realized that what Harishin has done, but his but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. And that was the spirit of doing good things rose in Hari Singh's mind. He smiled at Anil in his attractive smile, and this time the smile just came by itself. It was not without any effort, and it was not because of any purpose. But now, with his full heart, in a that was the true smile that came in his mind, and he realized that what he has done. How uh, and he realized that whatever he has decided to be a good person, to be an educated person, to be a respected person, it was the right decision of his life. And in such a way, Hari Singh changed himself. A thief changed himself to be a good man. And this was only because of the trust that Anil had on him. And from the story, we realize we came to know, we learned that a trust. Can actually change a bad person to a good one. So in this way, our story ends. I hope you have understood the story explanation 